I think you talked about this on the show a little bit, the lingerie line. Mm -hmm. Can you just update me again on what actually happened? Is it still coming out? or? So the lingerie line is called Touche Moi, which means touch me in French. <laughs> I thought that was a perfect fit. And, um, you know, it's I introduced it on the show because it's something that I do want to do. I did have a parent company that I was working with. The deal fell through on their end, um, so which is fine, but it left me holding the bag. So it's like, okay, now I have to kind of be the person the ceo and do everything from the beginning to the end and when you're putting a product out like i don't just want to put anything out you know i don't want people just to buy anything or just because it has my name on it i want it to be something that i really truly believe in something that i want to wear something that people really love you know i don't want you to wash it and it fall apart in the washing machine you know so it just has been taking a little bit more time than what i actually thought it would which is fine because when it comes out then everyone will love it so okay um, I hope that you have um, some lingerie for people that don't have bodies like you. <laughs> I definitely Maybe the people do. that don't have girls like you. I definitely do. I have something for everyone. I'm even coming up with a line for pregnant women. So it's from the beginning to the end, all women. You know, maybe we'll throw something in there for the guys. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, now before I let you go, I want to ask some random, random general questions. And these aren't so random, I guess. Would you ever consider doing reality TV again? I definitely uh, I definitely would do reality television again. It just has to be something that, you know, I don't want to be on television fighting, you know, obviously, <laughs> for all the wrong reasons. I know it's entertainment, and I know you have to have some drama for people to tune in and watch, but I just, that's not what I want to do. Like, that's easy, you know. Uh, and I try not to fight, like, on a regular, especially because I get paid to do it now. So it's just, like, I don't want, I don't want to do that, you know. I, I want something that fits me. Like, everyone always asks, like, are you guys ever going to come back with Candy Girls? You know, because it was a really good show. And I actually have been talking to a lot of producers and stuff about it. Because now I'm in a position, of course, where it's greater. And it's a lot of girls out there that, you know, inspire to do what I've done from the beginning. And I would love to be able to give them a shot. Um, when's the last time you got in a fight? Um, fist Jackie. fight. Jackie was the last fist fight that I had. Is it? Yeah, it was. <laughs> okay, that's that's good. That's good. You haven't been. I well, I did a Google search on you, okay. and and I saw I heard you said this yourself that you said or how do I say this allegedly. Bambi was going to get somebody to jump you. Okay. So <laughs> Bambi from she was um she made some appearances on Basketball Eyes LA mm -hmm. and she made some appearances on um. Love the Hip Hop Atlanta. Okay. Just a backstory for yeah. some people that may not be familiar with her. Mm -hmm. So after the show aired, first of all, the whole Bambi situation, like it never popped off because it was like never relevant to me. Like she wasn't relevant to me. It just was like stupid. Um, you know, it was something that um, the executives, you know, kept trying to put into play. But I was just like, I'm not fighting her because like for what, you know, and she really didn't want it. It was just stupid. So anyway, so after the show, um, after the show was airing or it might have been done airing, some girl that used to hang with her um, sent me a DM telling me that, you know, um, when I was in Atlanta that she was trying to have some people to jump me or whatever. And I'm just like, I mean, first of all, we're both from L.A. Well, she's from Compton. I'm from South Central. Neither one of us is really hard to find. You know, I used to live in Charlotte, North Carolina. She used to live in Atlanta. We were both in each other's cities. And, you know, seeing each other a few times is like, jump me? Like, come on now. <laughs> so have you seen her since that rumor? Or is that really old? Because is what, the rumor? Yeah. yeah, it's like, what? what is this, 14? So that happened in... Like the end of 12, I think. Okay. Yeah, so it was like over a year ago. Um, and then I talked to her afterwards because, I mean, I, I had her phone number. We were filming together. And um, and I was like, what's up? Like, you know, she's like, no, I never said that, you know, whatever, whatever. So there it is there. Okay, cool. Would you ever secretly get married? Would I secretly get married? Um that's it's a possibility depending on you know the man that I'm with how comfortable he feels on everything being out on the table I do like I'm do believe in a lot of traditional things, you know, and sometimes it is hard to maintain a relationship with everyone in your business. That's why I was like, my next man is not going to be in entertainment. <laughs> I want something different. I'm going to try something new. And, you know, if he wants it to be a little bit more quiet, then I don't have a problem with that. It doesn't mean that I'm a secret. It just means that we want some privacy. What's your biggest fear? I've never had my heart broken. Never, ever in life. 
So I think my biggest fear is that. So that's been a battle for me, too, because, you know, it's like I'm in a new situation. I'm trying not to be guarded. But it's hard. <laughs> Wait, but you've never had your heart broken? No. I've been disappointed by guys before, but I've never had my heart broken. Okay. This is random. What's your, what's your favorite utensil? My favorite utensil? Like to eat with? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess a fork. <laughs> I could even eat ice cream with a fork. You can. Um, I think the fork is my favorite one, too. Um, how does a woman know when she's in love? Oh, God. Well, let me tell you this. I don't know. I don't know the exact answer for every woman. But for me, like in my situation right now, like I've dated guys and been excited in the first three months. But like no guy has ever made me like nervous. Like I'm always the dominant one, like making niggas nervous. Like what would you say, baby? You know, <laughs> now he makes me like feel like a little girl. I'm like, oh my God, like, why are you looking at me? You know, I'm blushing. I'm nervous. My heart's beating. And you know, I'm calling my friends like, oh my God, like, I think I love him. I don't know. <laughs> so, so that's how, that's, that's some of the signs. I think so. Name two things, two things that are on your bucket list. Two things on my bucket list. Well, the first thing is to remain happy. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that that's for a lifetime. Like, if you can remain happy, then that'll cut down on a lot of stress. That'll cut down, you know, on a lot of things. And my second thing is for my life cleanse to be more successful than what I probably can even imagine. Okay, cool. And if you could ask God one question, mm -hmm. what would it be? Are you going to let me into heaven? <laughs> please, please, please. <laughs> Okay, is there anything else you want to talk about before I let you go? Um, uh, I want to talk about my daughter. She sings, and yeah, so she's, she's not no, she's not here, but she sings, and she's working on her song right now in Nick Cannon Studios. Yes, I'm really excited about that, and she has a party coming up on March 1st. She's going to have T-Fly. She has Reem Riches. What is T-Fly? Is that a, a rapper? Okay. So I said what? Oh, my God, I'm so old. Oh, my God, go ahead. No, they had to tell me, too. I was like, a what? <laughs> A fly. What are you talking about? <laughs> but he has a deal. He has a song on the radio. So T Fly, Reem Riches, March first. It's her seventeenth birthday. It's gonna be a big deal. Two of her girlfriends are doing it with her. We're gonna have carpet. We're gonna have everything. So I'm coming. Yeah, you better. Come. I just invited myself. Yeah, you have to come. It's Echoes doing it with me. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's gonna be. You already know. It's gonna be a big extravaganza. Her and her girlfriend are turning 17. Her other girlfriend's turning 16. So this is gonna be her sweet 16. All the parents are involved. Like it's gonna be a really big deal. All the high schools are invited. It's gonna be fun. Anything? You're gonna perform, and Kayla's gonna perform her first song. Oh my gosh! You're gonna be a stage mom. I know. It's crazy. I'm like, don't grow up. Please stop. Like. In another year, like she's our, she's in eleventh grade. She's already taken her test to be accepted into colleges, so she can start college early. You know, she's in AP classes. My other son is in AP classes. He's a he's a sophomore. He's a start on the varsity football team in high school. So I'm really proud of them. Like they're doing really really well. I feel so behind. <laughs> um, anything else before I let you go? Uh, oh, and I have a show magazine, Black Lingerie issue coming out. It might be one of like the last naked pictures that you see of me in a really long time so make sure you pick it up and enjoy it thank you Brooke thank you so much